what's up guys how's it going it is Matt here so we're gonna talk a little uh, a little bit about training today so we're gonna talk about up close and in person CQB now the average firefight for a average everyday citizen a civilian not military or whatever an average everyday civilian is between 3 to 10 yards okay 3 to 10 yards away sometimes 15 but more they usually between 3 to 10 yards away if you follow any channels out there, there's a lot of channels that talk this and they preach this all the time, they will always tell you the same thing. That every single time you draw your pistol from concealment or from a holster, you need to get the perfect sight alignment and sight picture to make a good solid hit on target. In a CQB up close in person self defense situation between 3 to 10 yards, sometimes up to 15 yards, that just isn't the case. It just isn't the case at all. The truth is what you need to do is you need to successfully draw your pistol from your holster without shooting yourself and point, that's right, point it at center mass and squeeze the trigger. And you'd be amazed how magically by simply doing that, you will actually hit body mass between three to 10 up to 15 yards away. You can actually hit solid body mass by not even aiming in on the front sight tip and getting the, per the absolute perfect sight picture and sight alignment you can hit the target now the pistol i'll be using to make some demonstrations in this video is my rock island armory 1911 a1 fs it has been cleared prior to this video so all the people the internet range safety officers who freak out my gun is pointed in a safe direction i would never harm anything i would never point at something if i didn't have any you know if i didn't want to destroy it so don't worry about it and on that note too, no bullets can actually come through the computer and hit your screen and put you in the hospital. So stop being scared and pay attention. It is a true thing, absolute truth. Within three to 10 yards, you can hit the target without focusing on that front sight tip, without focusing on or making the first perfect sight picture sight alignment. Now, in the military, one thing that we were always taught in a CQB situation, this is with our M16s, I had M16, A2, M203 at the time. When you're that close to someone, up close and in person, you aren't getting looking through the peep sight and looking at the front sight tip. You're pointing the front sight tip at the person. You aim low because the round's gonna go high. You're basically just simply pointing it at the target and squeezing the trigger. And the round will hit the target. It will, it will hit with being here and here, which is a very fatal area. You'll hit with that area, which is the vital areas. And you're not getting the perfect sight picture sight alignment. You are just simply looking at that front sight tip when you bring it up. And a lot of times you could just point it and pull the trigger and then look at the front sight tip to make sure you're lined up. You do a double tap like that and you're going to hit a, a vital area up close in person. If you ever have to make an absolute precise shot, like the only target available to you is say a head, or you're shooting through a window, or you're shooting around the corner, and you're trying to actually get a good shot and target, you don't know what's behind the target, you don't know what's going on there, so you're gonna need a good sight picture or sight alignment for those specific shots, but you need to focus on small little shots for that. You need to hit the small area that can move very easily, and you need to hit it just right to hit the target, so those are times that you will have to use the front sight tip. When it comes to not using the sight, that is, if it is right close, right up in front of you within spitting distance away from someone, you do not need to get a good sight picture, sight alignment. Like I said, we're talking between three to 10, sometimes even 15 yards away. All you have to do is simply pull it up, boom, and put a double tap on the target. Now, if you don't believe me, what you need to do is you can do this in dry fire practice. You get better results trying this out in the range, but you can do it in dry fire practice too is stand between stand about 10 yards away all right stand right around 10 yards away even do 3 15 whatever you know do the go different lengths go 3 all the way out to 15 yards away and i want you to try this so all you got to do is draw from your holster if the range allows you to do it a lot of ranges don't allow you to do it but what you need to do is you focus on a target now the target you need is a b, is a b modified target is what we call it it's basically the torso target, but we're not talking the tiny little qualification torso targets. I'm, I'm talking about the actual full-fledged torso targets, the full-fledged torso targets, which are about the same size as an actual real person. I know I sell them at Central Connecticut Arms. A lot of places sell them, ranges sell them, they are available out there. So get one of those targets and practice on that target. You set up the target three yards away. Now what you need to do is simply draw your pistol, boom, and shoot without looking at the front side tip and just shoot and do a double tap, bang, 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 uh, double tap, bang, bang, right to the, set, to the area that you're pointing. And then, when you see the hits, you're gonna notice it's gonna be within body mass. 
then push it out to five yards and do the same exact thing. Five yards away, bang, bang. Double tap right in the torso area. And once again, it will, the rounds will magically actually hit the body mass within the center mass of the area. Now push it out to 10 yards and do the same thing. You know, even go all the way out to 15 yards, even attempt it at 15 yards away. And you're going to be hitting the body. You're going to be hitting the vital area. Now, the, keep in mind, the farther it goes out, yes, the grouping is going to get bigger. If you start going out too far, then you're going to have to take precise shots and actually use the sight pitcher and sight alignment. But within spitting distance away, you honestly just need to point the damn gun at the target and squeeze the trigger. Double taps are the best way to do it. Two rounds really quick in a very small area will easily knock someone out of the fight, take them out of the fight. For those of you that don't believe me out there, just go out, just look it up, go, go attempt it for yourself. You will learn this firsthand that it can be done and it will be done. Now the reasons I'm preaching this, the reason I'm teaching you that you don't actually need the, front, the, the like full fledged sight picture and sight alignment for up close and in person is because in that type of situation where you're within spitting distance of someone, if they have a, a gun, a knife, whatever the weapon is that they have, they can easily reach you and they can easily damage you or kill you. So every second count, every split second counts. So you need to be quick and you need to get the first shots on target. So when they're that close, keep in mind, you need to know the target in the background. So if there's someone on either side of them, yes, you're gonna need to take a well-aimed shot. But if you have a clear backdrop and you see them coming directly at you, it is a simple process of simply pulling up there, bang, bang, and putting rounds on target very quickly. Now. You can even do this in dry fire practice. Now keep in mind, in dry fire practice, once again, all the ammunition needs to be removed from the firearms, the chamber needs to be cleared, There's no, there can be no magical way that little bullets can get together and magically create baby bullets that end up in the chamber. So make sure the firearm is clear and the ammo is out of the room when you're doing dry fire practice at all times. There are systems out there you could use, there's like laser systems that you could use out there. You could just do this with snap caps, you could do it without ammunition if you want to. What you need to do in dry fire practice, set up the target. You have to have a target. Get used to pointing in on something. Set up the target at, once again, between three to 10 yards. You know, even 15 if you can. Three to 10 yards tops is where you wanna start doing it. All I want you to do is simply draw and point the pistol. That's all I want you to do. Just set up at the target, draw, point at the target. And then what you do is after you point at the target, after you draw and you point at the target, I want you then to, to actually take a look at the sight picture and sight alignment. And it will be crazy because magically for some reason that sight picture and sight alignment will be right in the vital area where you need to hit. This technique can and will save your life. Hopefully you never find yourself in a situation where you actually have to depend on split seconds and seconds to actually get shots on targets. But the truth is that any type of situation where it requires us to defend our lives it is key to get the very first shots on target. So every split second counts. Someone can easily squeeze off four rounds in one second, three to four rounds in one second. So every split second counts. So this can and will save your life. Hopefully you never have to use it, but it can save your life. There you have it, guys. If you like this content, if you want to get more training videos and real world scenarios and hear my rants and all that stuff, because I do rant a lot, then like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about me, guys. Check me out at Patreon. I'm over there too. I do special stuff for my actual patrons and people that actually want to support this channel. And remember guys, it's our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other. Peace.